Welcome into the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Joe Wambo. Join now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of indoor and beach volleyball, women's volleyball. We're talking about the beach trip, I guess the southern circuit, if you want to talk about it that way. You guys headed down to Florida and got to play a lot of beach volleyball. Well, we had that first weekend in Texas, and then during spring break, we were able to uh, go down to Florida, and we went to a, a lot of different uh, places uh, down in Florida. We ended up starting at uh, the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, and uh, played two, D, two schools down there, and were very successful. Every single We won every single match. Mm-hmm. Um, which and we got so much practice before we left Joe it made such a difference this year competition was pretty good but uh, we played really well um, down in Miami and then traveled up to uh, St. Petersburg and played Eckerd College. Eckerd, this is their third year of beach. Uh, last year they blasted us both times they played them, and this year was a little bit different. We lost 4-1. to one. It was a double duel, so we played them both. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played them in the morning, we played them in the afternoon. Uh, incredibly windy and cold uh, that day in Florida, and our kids played as if the wind wasn't even blowing. I mean, they really did a great job. And you say four to one, well, they beat us pretty good. Well, you know, one of our um, matches went three and we lost 15-12. And another one, uh, Katie Leffridge and Lauren Weaver, they lost both matches or both sets by two points. You know, so maybe it's a little stretch, but we definitely competed. Sammy Perillo and Kristen Brooks at number one. They went three in their match as well. Uh, so it could have been a different outcome. It was really, really close. Um, have to say that um, Chelsea Ireland and Deanna Bradbury at the fives uh, did win both those Eckert matches. Mm-hmm. And um, so that was our one point that we got it at the fives. And both of those matches <laughs> went three. So we were there for a long time. There was about six and a half, seven hours of coaching because they only have two courts, unlike us where we have three. We actually have four courts. So it makes it a lot longer because you only can play two matches at a time. Mm-hmm. And so there's three rounds. You're six, five sixes, three fours, and one twos. So it takes three hours, in theory, <laughs> unless you go three, and it's really competitive. So it was more like seven hours of volleyball. And some of those pairings were awfully competitive. I, I forget which one that you mentioned. That one went eight and one on the weekend. Yeah, that was uh, Chelsea and Deanna went um, at number fives. Went eight and one, and they uh, and the match they lost. They went it went five. Mm-hmm. I'm excusing you. It went three. I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, five right. indoor, but uh, it went three, and uh, they just did a phenomenal job. Uh, uh, we also uh, Darian Hillman and Megan Wren at fours. They were six and three, and Grace Coleman and um, Jan Christensen at number three went six and three as well uh and so uh after we went to um st petersburg then we went to um Babson park florida which is like in the central con- park part of florida and we played warner university a team that we had beaten or excuse me they had beaten us mm-hmm. the year before uh three to two and uh we were able to beat them and four to one and we were real pleased and like sammy pearl and kristen brooks at number ones they beat the team who had beaten them the year before and doggone if it wasn't close like 17 15 in the uh-huh. third but <laughs> at that point the pressure was off them because we had already won the match we won at threes fours and fives we had lost at twos but they already knew we had our three points that we needed to mm-hmm. win uh then we played weber university on that same day and weber really had some phenomenal players and i really thought that uh, even though we comp- i felt like we competed well, uh, they beat us 5 nothing, and that was probably the best team we played, and that was a little surprising. Uh, then we uh, drove up to Montgomery, Alabama, and we it was a, a D3 festival. <laughs> uh, we played uh, Huntington, who dedicated their courts on that Friday that we played them, and uh, beat them 5 to nothing. I uh, had to say that uh, we had to reshuffle the lineup a little mm-hmm. bit. We were missing Kristen Brooks, and uh, so Lauren Weaver – and Katie Leffridge moved up to the ones, and they played a phenomenal match, uh, winning at ones, and it was um, two really close matches. And then and Grace Coleman and Jan Christensen had to move to number twos, and Sammy Pearl and Sarah Bollinger played at threes. Well, it's, it's just so incredible that the roster size that you have, you have 16 girls, and you only had nine dates of competition on this week, if you want to say only nine Nine, <laughs> nine, 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 matches. Nine, nine matches. Nine matches. Five days. But everybody days got to see some action. Yes. What do those experiences do when you have something like the Small Colleges National Championship coming up in a few weeks? What do those experiences do for those girls? 
Well, there's no question in my mind, Joe, that the strength of our team is our depth. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is a difference, but not a huge difference between our ones and our fives. And like when we played Warner, and I said that was like the, the pivotal match because I was expecting maybe five and four, hoping for six and three when we were down there realistically. Uh, but when we beat Warner, we won at threes, fours, and fives. Uh, ones was really close, as I mm -hmm. mentioned. Twos didn't win. But the strength of our team and our sixes are pushing. You know, our sevens are pushing. So, uh, w like, you know, Sarah played, w Sarah Bollinger played with Sammy Perillo because um, they played a little bit last year. Sarah's a senior. It seemed like a good fit when Kristen wasn't there. And so Sarah was, you know, she was at sevens with her partner, and she came up and she played in the threes and was able to do pretty well. You know, she went two and one in that, in that three spot with Sammy uh, against the D3 schools. Um, the other D3 school we played was uh, Principia. Mm -hmm. who we had played um, in Texas, and we were able to beat them 4-1 to end our trip at, a si at six and three. So we, you know, we were happy with that, and um, we got a lot of playing, and we did a lot of traveling, mm -hmm. but uh, it just, the depth on our team is our strength. Uh, I would uh, absolutely agree with you there. Uh, getting those many competitions, those matches in, you guys definitely deserve a rest, and you're going to take one uh, <laughs> before you guys I get know. back into competition in North Carolina. Uh, yeah, we had this week at, this week off. The girls, it was the first weekend they've had off because we've been – if it's a nice day, we've got to practice on mm -hmm. the weekend. Uh, so this is the first time they've had off since on a weekend since the season started. And then we'll travel to UNC Wilmington. Uh, that will be a difficult weekend. Uh, we're all D1s. We're going to play UNC Wilmington College at Charleston, uh, Mercer, and Coastal Carolina. All D1 programs that have had beach for two or more years. Mm -hmm. uh, and – that will prepare us for the following week when we go to Florida for the Small College National Championship. Uh, the competition's going to be tough. Having them stick together through probably adverse co uh, circumstances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, like playing against the D1s, but when then we play the D2s, that will be that much better, and how much we'll learn from playing the D1s I think will be a factor in how well we do in Florida the second time. Well, progress has already been made you know, mm -hmm. on an astronomical level it's from last season to this season, and I imagine the progress will continue as the season progresses through that Division One tournament and then into the small colleges national championship as well. Yeah, even in pra in the and we are now if it's 45 degrees we're going out, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not really that warm. But uh, the fact that we have four courts, these other teams are practicing in one or two. Sometimes mm -hmm. they like when we go to UNC Wilmington, we're not playing on their courts. We're going to Dig and Dive Restaurant, mm -hmm. where they have eight courts. Um, but we have actual four courts on campus, and so with 16 players, they can all be playing a match at the same time. So it's it's just like indoor. It's all about touches mm -hmm. and uh, just repetition and reading the game and the, and playing and uh so us having four courts here on campus is, made, is a big advantage for us and it's also been a big boost to you know the student body i get to see a lot of students out there yeah. from where my office is i get to see a lot of students out there enjoying the weather and and the courts as well so it's not as easy as it looks <laughs> it's, not, it's not but it is fun yes it, yes it is it, is, fun. it is, is fun well coach appreciate your time this Certainly, week and Joe. wish you the uh, best of luck and safe travels wherever you're traveling to <laughs> He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Alma. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.